And this is when you look through life and say to yourself, self, this doesn't pass the smell test. Well, howdy, y'all. Unky T here. Now, once again, you'll see that uh, the sheriff's department has uh, audio problems with a little bit of buzzing, but I try to clean it up, but you know how it is. Anyway, here's another one of these organized stealing things from the from the grocery stores and from the Walmarts and what have you. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you all saw the last video I did. If you didn't, I'll just put a link right here. It'll pop up. There you go. And uh, and I will say that you have people like those guys from Frostproof who just murder people because they don't like what they do with their car or whatever. That have 27 felonies of violent crime that are out in the streets. And I understand that these people broke the law. Don't get me wrong. They're driving up the prices of everything. That's true. But uh, personally, I would sooner see those other scumbags that go out killing people for no real reason go to jail for a lot longer, if not being executed, than to have them putting their energies into this stuff. But anyways, that's enough editorializing for me. Here's the story. Prosecutor, we couldn't do this job without the assistance of the statewide prosecutors. Yes. They are simply the very best at prosecuting racketeering charges, organized crime charges that work across jurisdictional lines. This case covers 18 different counties, 10 judicial circuits. This was an elaborate scheme. These folks were targeting public supermarkets, Winn-Dixie and Walmart. They were taking, taking high-end products such as baby formula, which can go for 16, 18, up to $35 a can for some of the real specialty stuff. But they were very obvious with their stealing. We will show you a video at the end of this event where they would just simply pull up with a buggy and these, these bags, these reusable bags that become popular in the grocery business so that folks can just bring their bags back to the store. And they would just clear out the shelves they would have these bags totally full of product. And then they would just walk out with them. And this is by their admission, not ours, when they would be stopped at the front door. Then they would scream and holler and create a great disturbance, upsetting the customers in the store. And they said, one of our favorite things to say is, the only reason you stopped me is because of my race. Is, no, we stopped you because you're a thief. We stopped you because you have these bags with hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars worth of product trying to walk out of the store without paying for them. Well, you say, well, it's just the big stores, Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie. No, it's not. It's you. It's you, the consumer. Because you see, they have to mark up the product to cover their losses, they call it shrinkage. So let's just consider what we're gonna talk about here today, a Merry Christmas present. So I wanna wish Merry Christmas to all of these boosters and fences that we arrested over Wednesday and Thursday. This is our Christmas present from the Sheriff's Office, from law enforcement to you. Let's meet these Grinches that we're stealing from you. First, we have Andrea Mack. She was a booster. They all were focusing on Gold Top Infamil baby formula. They stole, in this particular operation that we're aware of, $84,000. She's from Tampa. She's never been arrested before. I think she's the only one with no criminal history. And at the end of the day, she was stealing thousands and thousands of dollars worth of product. Andrea got a new, a new opportunity yesterday of a new life after she visited the Hillsborough County Jail. Then there's Ashley Anderson. She's 24 years of age. She has two felonies in her history, one of them a violent felony. So when you say, oh, these people that commit minor nonviolent felonies, well, they also commit violent felonies because this is a nonviolent felony, but it's not minor. It's racketeering, 30 years. She's also had 10 misdemeanor arrests. Did I share with you that while she's stealing product, you 
are providing part of your tax dollars to her for federal assistance. That's right. She gets Section 8, EBT, federal money while she's out stealing. So you're paying taxes, and she's getting help from the federal government, and then she's stealing from you, and you're having to pay more for the product. She is just a dollar, an absolute darling. Then there's Adrian Givens, 25. He's got 27 previous felonies and 11 misdemeanors. He's also from Tampa. Then there's Rantivia Singleton, another booster. She's known as Precious. Well, isn't that precious? She has a history of two felonies, four misdemeanors, and she's getting federal assistance. While she's not stealing from your, from your different stores in the community, she's cashing in on her federal assistance. Now, this is Abbas Isa. He's 53. He's a fence. He's from Orlando. Now, Abbas, he's not a quick learner. It's important to point out that he's already been to federal prison for similar conduct. That's right. He spent three years in federal prison. He's got eight felonies, racketeering charges, firearm charges that he's already been in prison for. And here he is again. He runs a warehouse out of Orlando. And he was buying the product not from the, the boosters, the ones stealing the product, but he was buying the product from the fences. Now that's interesting to point out. Then he tells us, hey, I didn't mean to do it. You know, I got this stuff and I sold it on eBay just one time. Well, where's the guy that you sold it on eBay to? Oh, he's out of New York. So product that's stolen all throughout Florida by boosters taken to Tampa, taken to Orlando, sold on eBay in New York. eBay could help out a brother here if they would watch what goes through their systems. Then there's Ahmad Hamden. He's 27. He works at the 10 Star store in Tampa. He was buying the product from the boosters. Now, now you've got you've to picture this, okay? And this is when you look through life and say to yourself, self, this doesn't pass the smell test. So when the boosters would come with all of this product in their leased vehicle that they leased to steal the product, you see, because they don't want to get caught driving their own cars, they would buy the product not inside the store. They didn't allow them to bring it in the store. They snuck around back and bought it behind the store. Well, when we interviewed Ahmad, he said, hey, I just do what the boss says. You know, I don't know nothing. I just do what my boss says. Well, here's Ashad Sued. He's 31. He is the owner of the 10 Star Supermarket in Delhi in Tampa. And, and this store is located on MLK in Tampa. He is a big time fence. He would buy the product once again and not only did he instruct his employees to buy the product out of the back of the car behind the store, but he did the same thing. That's right, we have him under surveillance buying stolen property. Interestingly enough, that he would then redistribute this, not only to the guy in Orlando, but to different small mom and type, mom and pop type stores around the Tampa area. So think about that. He's redistributing this to other mom and pop type stores in the Tampa area, but he's the man that's taking the product in. So what's left to talk about? Well, we still need this lady. This is Beatrice Johnson. She's 29. She has a history of seven felonies and seven misdemeanors. She's at large in Tampa. Beatrice, go ahead and turn yourself in. It's our Christmas present to you. Why would you run when we're trying to give you a Christmas present? 
and we'll make sure that Tampa feeds you a nice meal, Hillsborough County, at the Orient Jail on Christmas Day. Now listen, okay. folks, here's the product. The last time we busted up an organized retail crime group with this baby formula, we had people go online and go, oh my gosh, the sheriff has arrested people for just stealing baby formula for their baby. Well, for those of you with only three brain cells that think that, here's your clue. This is not individual ladies stealing baby formula for their babies, which by the way is also illegal. This is organized retail crime. So if you're real slow, let me say that again. This is not someone stealing one can of formula, which is illegal, and by the way, we'd put you in jail for that too. This is people stealing tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of formula. And for all you mamas that need this formula for your babies, the reason you're paying as much as you are for it is people like I've just talked about are stealing it, so the price of this goes up. This is hot commodity. So do yourself a favor, go to the stores and buy this the right way. Well, there you go, my friends. Another fun, exciting version of the stealing game. Now, I hope you all enjoyed that. I don't know if you all noticed that my book came out yesterday. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with it. and I don't know if it's all you all wanted to see, but there it is. If you want to go to that, I'll put a link here. And also, there's a link to a group of other great videos if you want to see them right here. So, y'all have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.